So here in Wichita, Kansas, it has been absolutely frozen for like a week. It's 40 degrees today. So we have this office we just completed. I've got it outside. So I have an opportunity to film it and discuss a little bit. And I am looking for your guys' feedback. So welcome back to the most innovative shipping container channel on YouTube. We appreciate the views. Please like and share our videos. Uh, I like providing the content, uh, but if I ever make a little bit of money on it, that would be a great bonus. So we have done several videos on this container, but this is a 20 foot slate gray one trip container with a walk door and two windows. And we will go inside of it and detail that. But a slick thing about 20 footers is even with a HVAC or mini split, you can run them off of 120. So what we have done here, 115, 120, I'm going to refer to it as 120 from this point forward. A 120 cord is 15 amps uh, generally on any breaker you have. Uh, so the mini split pulls about eight to nine amps running full out. So we've got a, you know, six amps left over for computers and TVs and, and whatever else. And so that's plenty. So what we do is run the mini split here. Our lines for the mini split are coiled in the wall here. Our breaker box is over here. So outside the breaker box, we've just got this outdoor box here. And then we've got basically an RV receptacle to plug an extension cord in. There's a bunch of corrugation we've been cutting out. We've got piles and piles of corrugation. So if you guys have any ideas what to do that with that, let me know. Um, so the main feedback I'm looking at on this container is what do you guys think it's worth? What can we retail a 20 foot office for? This is spray foam. So we spray the underneath of the container, the walls, the ceiling, everything. If you don't spray the floor, you save 600 bucks. But uh, in my opinion, you've got to spray the floor or else you can, it's pretty drafty in the winter and summer and you can feel it. We've got a walk door here. Um, for us, that's about $1,300, $1,300 retail product, windows, uh, four or five, six hundred dollars with a tubular frame, the way we do them. There are simpler ways. I think that's the good way to do them. Uh, so we've got two windows. Uh, we've got the mini split. It's a Della, D E L L A. And the interesting thing about this mini split is it's got a black indoor unit, which I really like. And this is the second one we've installed. My last video was uh, dealing with some mini split lines that had gotten broken on the inside of the wall. So I'll talk about that a little bit when we get inside, but you can go watch that video. We got those lines fixed. Uh, but the interesting thing about this Della mini split is it's 120 volts, but it's 12,000 BTU. Most of your mini splits on Amazon or online, if they're 120 volts, the max BTU you will see is 9,000. And just from having a 9,000 BTU, in this office, I can feel a big difference to this mini split in this office. So let's go take a look inside. And you can see here we've got a tubular frame and we weld all that in. All right. So we run our electrical on the inside of the walls, not in the walls. I like the industrial look. It's probably a little bit more money and a little bit more difficult to do it this way. Uh, but I like to be able to change or reconfigure the electrical later. And like I said, I like the look of it. So we got some outlets up high and down low. So if you have a desk over here, we've got the outlets up high. Uh, then we've got the outlets um, higher here for TVs or what have you. You can kind of see the way we've run the electrical in here. And then we've got a 48 inch LED and just one LED in here is pretty bright. Um, but these are linkable LEDs. So you can link another one up to the end of this. And so here's our breaker box. So obviously if we're limited to 15 amps on 120, there's really no point to breakers in here, but you could reconfigure this container later to like a 30 or 40 amp plug and run more power in here and then we're we're already set up with different circuits so we put our mini split on one circuit and everything else on the other circuits um so like i said this is a 12,000 btu mini split it has uh the fan speed the blowers the blower pressure the air you can feel coming out and the heat is noticeably better than the 9,000 btu sinville i've been using a lot of other containers but I really like the fact that the indoor unit is black. And a little uh, tech tip for you here on mini splits. 
Uh, we had not. I noticed the mini split in our office uh, wasn't really keeping up that well when it was really cold outside. I forgot about these filters in here. I opened it up and those filters were absolutely caked. You just wash them out with hot water, put those back in and it was blowing great again. So remember to check the filters on your mini split. Let me get this closed here. So um, this is gonna be our new office for a little while. It will be for sale. And all of your one trip containers have this really nice floor in them or you know, 99% of them. Uh, this is the white shiplap. We did end up painting it and we leave our doors accessible. So tomorrow when we move everything in here, I'm going to sell the old solar office. Ignore the tape on the window here. Um, but tomorrow when we move everything in here, we'll open these indoors and we'll have everything moved in here in a matter of probably five minutes. So I'm curious what you guys think a plug-in office like this is worth retail. I know what I think we've got in it labor-wise and materials and spray foam, but I'm curious to see what you guys think it's worth or what you'd pay for it. And I'm going to sell my old solar container. I've done a few videos on it. Uh, with the batteries, we're thinking 25 grand because the batteries are about 10 grand. Without the batteries, we're thinking 15 grand. I'm thinking on a container like this with the shiplap that adds a couple 1500 or 2000 in materials and labor over OSB walls. Um, I'm thinking about 15 on something like this, so I'm curious to know what you guys think. The other configuration would be to make this a 240 plug, like they have uh, generally used at commercial construction sites, and then have a PTAC or a, one of the window style 42 inch wide uh, HVAC units in the wall here. Um, they're not as efficient, um, but it's all one unit and it's a little less prone to vandalism and theft. So uh, if you guys would leave in the comments what you think something like this is worth. And uh, once we get this set up, I'll do some more videos on it. And I want to show you one more thing on the outside. So I turned this mini split on about an hour ago and it was like uh, 45 degrees in here. So it heated right up. I'm going to turn it off. So we should see this go off. Uh, I'm going to show you the container wheels outside and we will call it a night. So here are the wheels. So we block it up on one end, grab it with the forklift. Here are the wheels. That's how we get in and out of the shop doors. So uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think something like this is worth. Here's the other side of it. Or what you'd pay retail. And uh, thanks for watching.